What's going on everyone? This is Fred, Fredian.com, and this is part two of our DIY Bitcoin Miner. Today, we're going to take a look at software. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do before you can start Bitcoin mining is to sign up for a Bitcoin wallet. Now, there's a lot of wallets that you could choose from, but I prefer Coinbase. Now, just head over to Coinbase.com and set up an account. All you have to do is enter in your email and choose a password. Once you log into your account, you'll see a summary of your Bitcoin balance and transactions. But before you can receive any Bitcoins, you need to set up a Bitcoin address. You could do so by clicking Account Settings. Once you're on the Account Settings page, go ahead and click Bitcoin Addresses. From there, click Create New Address. This generates a long string of numbers and letters. This is the address that we will need to enter into our mining pool. So let's take a look at that now. There are many mining pools that you can choose from, but I prefer BitMinter as my primary pool and Slush's pool as my backup. Just create an account at whichever one you choose and log in. Your account details page will normally have an auto cash out option. This is where we'll enter in our wallet address that we created earlier. When you have mined enough Bitcoins to meet the threshold, it will automatically be transferred to your Bitcoin wallet. Next, go up top to the My Account dropdown and select Workers. This worker information is what you need to input into the mining software so that you get credit for the work that is done. You do not need to secure this information with a difficult username or password because anyone that uses this information will be giving you credit. Now let's take a look at setting up the mining software. As mentioned in part one of this series, we will be using the Mine Peon operating system. This can be downloaded from sourceforge.net. Now this is the image that we will need to write onto our SD card. Another software that we need to download is called Win32 Disk Imager. This can also be found on sourceforge.net. This is the software that we will use to write the Mine Peon image onto our SD card. Once you have downloaded both files, insert your SD card into your computer, then open up Win32 Disk Imager. Simply select the location of your Mine Peon image, then select the correct drive for your SD card. All you have to do now is click Write. This will write the Mine Peon image onto your SD card. Insert the SD card into your Raspberry Pi as shown on part one of this series, then power up the unit. Now sign into Mine Peon by typing in the network IP address into your browser. The easiest way to find this IP address is by logging into your router and looking for the device called Mine Peon. You will then be prompted to enter in your Mine Peon's username and password. The default setting for this is Mine Peon for the username, Peon for the password. You will see a security warning, but do not be alarmed. This is perfectly normal, so proceed anyways. You will then be asked to re-enter the username and password. So again, Mine Peon is the username, Peon is the password. You are now finally in Mine Peon's dashboard. This is where you can monitor the performance of your mining rig. Head up top and click Pools. This page allows you to set up your mining pools. As you can see, I have BitMinter as my primary pool and Slush's pool as my secondary. Just enter in the URL of your mining pool, the username, and password if you have one. Then go ahead and submit your settings. You may need to reboot Mine Peon after any changes. Great job, everyone. You are now officially mining for Bitcoins. All right, so that should be everything that you need to start Bitcoin mining. I will place all the links down below, but if you have any questions or need more information, check out my website, fredian.com, for more details. Thanks for watching, guys.